Welcome back to the lab. Okay, it's not a lab, it's my office. What we have here today, as you can see, is a Unified Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. That's the one with the hard drive. And this is currently kaput. So, plug in PoE power. The white light of life comes on. We get the Unified logo on the front display. A little bit of smudge. I'll save you the waiting. It stays like this, indefinitely. But I'm going to let it sit for a minute, just in case it has changed its mind. Let's see if the white flashing light changes to a solid blue light. Okay, that's been about a minute. And I know normally by now there should be a loading bar there and the logo would have jumped around and changed things. A quick search online shows that when this happens, and it will not boot, uh, chances are it re was rebooted forcefully during a firmware update, um, or the hard drive is corrupt. Now, this one does still go into recovery mode, so we'll just power that down. So, if you're surprised that this is still powered on when the PoE power is pulled, this does actually have a battery in there, so you still have to hold the power button for a few seconds and then it turns off. So what you have to do to get it into the recovery mode is using some sort of a poking stick. Press and hold the reset button whilst inserting power. Now this is a bit tricky as this box is not easily held in one hand and you need to keep an eye on the screen. So whoop, button in, power in, keep holding it and then wait for the recovery mode logo to pop up. There we go. So now it says it's in recovery mode. In a second, this should pop up with an IP address and then I should be able to open up a web browser to that IP. So 0.130, which does show me the Cloud Key recovery mode web interface. It doesn't have many options, but you've got four buttons here and then a firmware update option here. So the first button, reset to factory defaults. That's the only one I haven't tried yet. Then you've got reboot, power off, and check file systems. So according to Ubiquity, the thing to do is you click the check file systems button, which does check the file system on the hard drive, supposedly. But it doesn't really give you a success or failure message. When it finishes, it just comes up with a message to say file systems check has been completed. Only takes a few seconds. So yeah, file system check complete. No errors as such. I tried loading firmware to this earlier today and it said please ensure you're using the correct firmware for the device type. Now I've also just realized that this model number has changed since I last booted it up. So earlier this was just saying UCK and there, were no, there was no number next to it so I'm going to download the firmware again. This Okay, I think I found the correct firmware. So it was last updated 19 Feb, so 10 days ago. It's for the uh, Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. It's nearly a gigabyte, so it's gonna take a minute to download. Okay, that download's finished. So we select that downloaded firmware file. For updating firmware, do not power off the device. So let's see what this does. The thing to note, of course, when updating the firmware from recovery mode is it does or will reset the Cloud Key back to its factory state. And there's the message saying, please choose firmware appropriate for this device. Let's see if we can match 3116. So I wonder if, because the firmware version is a mismatch, 3115, 3116 for the, let's go for another gig. Actually, this one's 700 meg. So let's just uh, leave the old one, wait for this one to finish. So yeah, like I said, the only thing I haven't tried doing is the re reset to factory defaults from this button here. I don't think the reset button on the back is going to work. I haven't even tried that yet because it doesn't actually fully boot. Not sure what effect that's going to have. Maybe this button will have a bit more power. But I'll try that once I verify whether this firmware file either fixes it or doesn't. So that's done. 3116. Try updating again. So no, same message. Invalid firmware. Please choose firmware appropriate for this device. It's strange that the firmware file or the device is not recognizing the fact that this firmware file is for this device. Never mind. So clearly that isn't working. So let's try resetting to factory defaults from that button. 
So it says that device has been reset to factory defaults, reboot to activate. So I issue that reboot command there. We've got the Unify logo on the front, or the Ubiquity logo on the front, and flashing white light again. So let's see what fortunes this brings us, if any. Again, I'm not really hopeful, but I'll let it sit for a minute or so, see if it changes its mind. One thing I did read online was that when the hard drive gets corrupt, uh, some people have had luck in just swapping out the hard drive for a blank SSD, and then it boots up just fine. So if I need to do that, I have a couple of them here, a couple of very dusty examples, apparently. That's promising. We have the loading bar, so it should be reloading the firmware. But yeah, that's the loading bar I would normally expect after a few seconds of powering it on. So even if this resets properly, it still doesn't mean the hard drive is good. The hard drive can still be broken, so to speak. Uh, what is a shame is that they use spinning hard drives in these, which makes them slightly heavier. Not the biggest of concerns, but where these aren't really rack-mountable devices, so for instance, the other one I've got here, I can show you around it, there's no rack mounting and the rack that it sits in doesn't actually have any fixings to clamp this in place. So it's very easy for this to get knocked around or even fall, fall to the floor if someone isn't being careful. So this is the shelf that it comes in. It's a 1U shelf that basically has a cutout that fits that profile of the cloud key. And then there's a shelf with a stopper at the back to stop it being slid in too far. So you basically just push it in like that. And then there's a cutout at the back to plug in the network cable. Meanwhile, over here, this is still thinking about coming back to life. Seeing that is fairly promising. That tells me it's ready to be set up. So there it is, supposedly working again. I wonder if it's still got its backups. So if I just log in with my account. Okay, these are all cloud backups, but there are no local backups available. That tells me the hard drive is completely shot, because when I did the same reset on this other cloud key I have, it actually showed me the local backups stored on the hard drive, and I think it keeps seven. That's the default number it keeps. So, so just a quick read online. If I were to pull the hard drive out, the backups should just be stored there. So let's As you can see, I've called it the uh, Cloud Key Dodo. Uh, backups. Two backups. Both of those backups have today's timestamp on them. Okay, that's showing me nothing. Um, very much under the impression that there is something definitely wrong with this hard drive because yeah, whatever was on there has been wiped. I need to test this hard drive in other ways. For now, let's uh, shut this down. Single press, shutting down. Wait for that to say goodnight. And then leave it be until the hard drive is checked. So there we have it. Another cloud key that, at least on the face of it, is working. I just need to throw this drive into my drive toaster at some point. Run a scan on it, make sure that's still happy. Maybe do some smart tests, make sure the hard drive isn't isn't fried in other ways. So to give you a bit of background as to why or how this died the first time around is it was installed in an environment that was very, very hot. The majority of the networking gear kept rebooting because it was getting too hot. There are three uh, Unify switches and they have their internal temperature monitoring and when they get too hot they shut down, they cut PoE power and this was powered via PoE from one of those switches. So this was cutting in and out quite a lot. It just got to the point where it would not turn back on and I'm guessing it was probably doing an auto update when the power was cut. I'm going to do a bit of research to see what can be done as far as putting a new hard drive in there if it is a, simply a case of just formatting another drive, especially an SSD, and putting it in there, then I will do that. Maybe I'll give this one a bit of a clean up as well. Yeah, that's going to conclude it for today. I thought this would be a bit more of an adventure. I thought I was going to have to pull out all sorts of funny loading something onto an SD card and booting it from there or having to connect via USB. That's going to do it for me for today. If you've got any 
Kaoki Gen 2 Plus issues. I hope this has been of some help. I know that this is a very common problem looking at Google. The only thing I can recommend above all else with Unify sites, I look after a total of about 15 or 16 Unify sites and they all vary from um, the original Cloud Key to even some before the Cloud Key where they were set up using the software on the PC. Um, some of them are even still running on Raspberry Pis. Yeah, this is probably the fourth or fifth time where having a backup has saved me on site. Make your backups, people, and save your backups. Save them somewhere that you know where they are and you can find them again and you'll be okay.